Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to stitch many images by feature extraction and then matching. And here is a little demo that I want to achieve. So what we want to achieve is we will have a set of images which have some overlap. And I'm just going to select those and then it will stitch them together and give us a result like this so this is what we are going to learn so let's see how we can do that i already configured a project to use emgu cv if you don't know how to configure it you can check these videos and first of all i'm going to add a new menu item here and i'll call it image stitching double click on it and uh, i'd like to use a try cage in case if i have any problems so we will allow the user to select the images that he wants to stitch so open file dialog dialog is equal to new open file dialog and if dialog show dialog we will show it to the user and if we select something then it must be equal to okay dialog about okay so here what we are expecting that user will select multiple images so one thing that we should do is dialog dot multi select is equal to true and we can create a vector of mate object images is equal to new where we will store all those images in this vector of mate and now we can use a for each loop each variable file that has been selected by the user dot file names remember that there should be more than one so file names and i can push them into images dot push by reading them as a mate object and here I am passing the file. So we read one by one the object as a mate object and push them into this image vector of images. And we hope that we will have more than one images. So I'm not going to write those checks. So uh, the image stitcher basically needs uh, a feature extractor and then we need to warp those features uh, by matching them. It will match them. So we need two objects here. Uh, what I will do is, first of all, I will go on top. Here we can use using mgu.cv.stitching or stitching here is one thing. And uh, using, okay, I have already did this feature 2D, which we have already done. So that's it. And uh, then uh, we will create that object uh, brisk i will be using brisk and from emgu.cv.2d features dot from here you can see different uh, feature detectors are available cas you can master or the aka aka zre and many things and a feature matches you can use any of them that is suitable for you let me use the brisk if it works fine and I call it the detector. So this will be my feature detector and I'm using with the default values. And another thing that we need is warper. Warper creator and I call it warper is equal to new warper. And there are many options available or let's say warper and uh, maybe i will show you from here mgu.u.cv.stitcher.dot when you see here warpers different type of warpers are available someone for gpu someone for cpu and all these warpers you can explore them which one of them you want so following along uh, one of the videos from EMGU CV, I'm just going to see, use this uh, spherical warper object. So this will be basically used to warp the two images or the mate images. 
okay and that's it so these two objects i needed one for feature detection and then when those are matched together we need to warp them to form one uniform image and then i can create a stitcher object stitcher new stitcher object and i don't need to give any parameter to the constructor and here we will tell which is the uh, feature detector and which is the warper for our stitcher stitcher dot set features you have many things here you can set uh, i'm just mentioning here the feature finder this is the detector that we will be using okay so it will detect and the stitcher dot set warper which warper object we are going to use is the spherical warper and that's it and uh, we can now use the stitcher to stitch uh, the images and put the results in this made file so i call it output made output and uh, here we can say stitcher dot stitch so this method basically expecting the images that we want to uh, stitch so the images are my in images folder images not folder actually images vector of mate and the output should be one because that we want to be to be stitched and this one is returning a uh, stitcher dot status so we can take that status uh, variable status to this one and we will make a condition that if my status equals equals stitcher dot status dot okay it means that it has successfully completed my stitching then i can show the result in the picture box image is equal to output dot is bitmap or to bitmap it should be okay in else we can write a message lbl status dot text failed stitch and to show because it is finding the features and then it is matching it will take a little bit time so maybe doing during stitching we can just show a status to show that it is doing some work cursor is equal to cursors dot weight cursor and i copy it once my job is done i can return back to the default cursor and uh, let us see if our stitching process is completed or not okay so i'm just going to select the segmentation image stitching and uh, there are the examples that i have selected let's say these three four images of the same seam with much overlap and click okay so it is working let's see what we get out of it okay it took a little bit of time but the result is awesome so the you can see the stitching the way it has done it is it looks very very good there are four different pictures and it has performed a perfect stitching of four different images and that's it hope to see you in another video